Hi, this is Bethany with BA Crafty Girl, and as promised in another video, um, I'm back with the Tri Art markers that I got at scrapmark.com, and he, I made this Tri Art markers color chart because I tried to find one that was like the Copic one that was blank that you can color in yourself but they do not have one they only have the one that was colored already previously colored and there was I found a blog for someone that kind of edited it a little bit to put a space underneath the color let me see yeah and so this is what it looks like and um, I got this from Pal Pamela's gallery.com and she edited it a little bit so there was a space underneath see here's the color and here's the name and there's a space so you could put your own color and I did do that but it was just con too confusing for me to see the color and then the name and then the color again so I made this one on Excel and it works much better for me because I can definitely see what I have, what the color looks like on this paper, and uh, what else I need to order at a later date. Um, if you are interested in tryout markers or you have tryout markers and would like this, uh, leave me a comment uh, down below or send me a message that has your email address and I will send this to you. I will email it to you as an attachment so that you can have this as well if you're interested. So these are the colors that I just got in the mail on Friday, and I'm really pretty impressed with them. I got one out of the grays, some pinks. I tried to get a couple from each um, family. I got mostly blues. I always end up doing that because I love blues. And so those are got. I got 48 markers this time around. And I did do an example coloring. And here it is. This image is from the Greeting Farm. And this is one of their digital images. So what you do is you go in there and you pick which digital image and then you pay for it. And then you go into their, uh, you go into your account and you can download them right there and you can save them on your computer and then you just print them out when you need them. And so this is what I colored. I played the violin, so this is kind of perfect. So this is the example I colored to show everyone what they look like. So this is kind of my third attempt at coloring with the uh, tri art markers and slash, you know, coloring with alcohol inks, period. So this is how it came out and then uh, for the little I can't I don't know if you can tell but I also used a, a Copic at use Bica pen clear for the little lines on her dress and also on the little flower but um so this is what I colored and I was going to tell you the colors that I used for her um for her hair I used Y9 Canary. Oh, and this is another cool thing. The Y9 Canary, the name is on both ends. So it doesn't matter how you store them. If you store them in doubt, you can always see what color it is. I used for her hair, I used the Y9 Canary, the Y11, sorry, it's out of focus, the Y11 Pale Yellow. And the Y10 Narcissus. So those are the hair colors. For her skin, I used Earthy Pink for the blush, which is E8. I used SK9 Shell Pink. SK10 Venus and also for a part of her blush I used P10 Pink and I am definitely interested there's a SK11 called Vanilla I am really interested in trying that on skin too 
And then for her dress and for her um, hair flower and her little hair bands on each side, I used a BG10 Seafoam, BG9 Aqua, and F8 Luminous Blue. And the Luminous Blue is kind of on the edges, kind of as a highlight. Um, I can't really tell you how these compare to Copic markers because I've never used Copic markers before, but um, I'm really liking my results. I think it turned out really well. Oh, I haven't told you the violin colors. The violin colors that I used were E2 Umber and SK1 Chocolate. And those are the two of the colors I used for the violin. I'm really liking the results. I'm really liking uh, how they blend. I did order the Colorless Blender, but I didn't end up with it. I got a blank one instead. So I don't know if I then have to buy the refill of the Colorless Blender and fill it myself. I'm not really sure on that. But um, these are less than half of the Copics, and they're basically the same product. Of course, I can't tell you whether or not they color exactly the same because I've never used it before. Um, but again, here's my image, and here is the color chart that I made, and if you are interested in that, please send me a message either down below or um, a private message with your email address, and I will definitely send you an attachment of that. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Bye-bye.